Nanu and Che District Hospitals now my mom has said no. If I shall see I am with you, Emma, we man tell her so so no. In your hospitals, I said, he shares our boy, send me Bobby, yes, I do my organa. If you know, also, you want to do my no, no, and I'm one, oh, to me, yeah, me casa, no, no, oh, to me, yeah. When he shall see a casa, me to me, yes, say, he say, he say, I check. Me yes, what, when he was in my head. Ladies and gentlemen, it is good to be back in Koforidua, capital of the Eastern Region, my home region. Once again, this time to cut the sword for the construction of phase one of the new Eastern Regional Hospital. This project has been on the drawing board since 2017, and I'm delighted that from today, work will finally commence. Phase one of this new hospital project will involve the construction of 285 bed facility out of the total capacity of 600 beds. Once fully completed, it will be fitted with the requisite teaching and learning facilities and will position the Eastern region on the right side of the healthcare map of our country. To realize these objectives, the new Eastern Regional Hospital, once completed, will handle and help improve acute care and referral services, as well as lend support to the ever-acting, expanding scope of primary healthcare facilities. Additionally, it will support the development of mutual health insurance organizations within the region and its districts. The cost of this new Eastern Regional Hospital is 70 million euros. It is being funded by Standard Chartered Bank UK with credit guarantee support from the United Kingdom ex Export Financing to the tune of 7,920,000 euros. Ghana continues to be grateful to the United Kingdom Export Financing for their continued support in our infrastructure development program for all sectors of our economy. I'm happy to state that the entire funding amount of 70 million euros has already been secured for Tilium UK Limited, the contractors for this project. They must therefore ensure that this project is completed within the 36 month period and on budget. When completed, this hospital will have a floor area of approximately 20,000 square meters with the following facilities. Administration training conference and teaching facilities, outpatient department, accident and emergency services, adjunct clinical services, pharmacy imaging with MIR, pathological services, surgical services including the provision of seven theaters and endoscopy, obstetrics and gynecology, inpatient wards, burns care unit, ICT installations and provision of health information management system, medical waste management system, and provision of mixed type accommodation units for hospital workers. The outbreak of COVID-19 
has revealed the unequal distribution of healthcare facilities in our country. As we've tended to focus our healthcare infrastructure on a crime on one or two of our other big cities. But as we have seen, epidemics and pandemics, when they emerge, can spread to all corners of our country. There are 101 districts in our country without district hospitals. We have six new regions without regional hospitals. And we do not have infectious disease control centers dotted across the country. Government is doing something about it. And that is why shortly, the construction of the 101 hospitals in the districts without hospitals will start. It will mean that it will mean that eight districts in the eastern region, currently without hospitals, namely Achim Mansa, Asenim Manso Akroso, Esio Jamai, Etiwa, Eyensiano, Brim South, Kwewe Frams Plain South, and Upper West Achim will see the construction of district hospitals. <laughs> Each of the hospitals will be a quality standard design 100 bed hospital with accommodation for doctors, nurses, and other health workers. We've also put in place plans for the construction of six new regional hospitals in the six new regions. The rehabilitation of a Fianquanta Hospital in Second D and the construction of a new hosp regional hospital for the Western region. Indeed, government is committed to modernizing all other major hospitals across the country so they can deliver quality health care for our people and help Ghana become also an attractive destination for medical tourism in the region. Nananum, I'm delighted and honored by your presence here. I would like you to convey respectfully to the Omaihine of New Jabin traditional area, Dasimbre Utibwati, my warm appreciation for the gift of the land on which this hospital will stand. I show all of you that this project is a sign of greater things to come for Kufuridia, the eastern region, and indeed for the whole nation. Ghana's co government's commitment to the total development of Ghana is absolute. So I'm very hopeful that by the grace of God, we are on the threshold of something remarkable in Ghana. And I expect that all of us gathered here will be present again in 36 months, God willing, for the commissioning of this project. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you.